Currently, I'm working on developing new methods to study the structure of RNA molecules. And by doing so, we can uh, examine the consequences of uh, mutations uh, of uh, RNA helicases. And we know that many RNA helicases, when they are mutated, they cause ser serious cancers. And by uh, de uh, developing methods to look at the consequences of these mutations, uh, we hope to find uh, new ways to treat these cancers. From my background, I'm a RNA biologist. I am good at doing uh, developing new technologies. And uh, when I came here, I see this uh, problem in this field in uh, looking at uh, the mechanism of cancer uh, with uh, helicase mutations. So that's why I see that's why I see a place where I just fit in. I can directly apply my methods to these uh, uh, problems where they are difficult to study using conventional methods. Getting this award uh, is a great encouragement on what I've been doing, and also it gives me the freedom to pursue. Uh, you know, big picture ideas that are, um, you know, harder to, um, very risky and hard to get funding for. And it gives me the freedom to uh, uh, be independent from, you know, my advisor and uh, pursue and start planning my own career for the future. So that's really important. And I think it's great for like nurturing the next generation scientists. Um, you know, giving them the freedom to do uh, great things. My PhD advisor and my postdoc advisors, they, are both, they were both supported by the, uh, the Marini and uh, they have been really successful in their careers and, and in that way they have served as great uh, role models for me too. Uh, so I told this to uh, my PhD advisor and he was uh, really uh, happy to, about this and he said, welcome to the family. <laughs>